These days, a decreasing number of students are choosing a scientific career in the UK. At the same time, 50,000 women with qualifications in science, engineering and technology are not working in the sector. In order to attract more girls into science, Wendy, like other female researchers in the UK, regularly performs a show about physics. It's not too bad, OK, but I think you can be a bit louder than that. So let's try it again. Good morning, everyone. Excellent. In the UK, there's a shortage of scientists in general, and so if we can get another 50% of the population, i.e. the women, involved, then you're increasing the number of potential scientists. And to encourage the other 50%, British female researchers visit schools in order to change the image of science as a profession. You can take a comb and you can kind of scratch the signal. So this is a bit like the next generation of DJ mixing. <laughs> People think science is quite an antisocial subject, but from the experience I've had, working in a research team is a very sociable thing. You get to travel, um, you get to go to lots of conferences at exciting places. And so I think being a scientist or being in acad academic science is really exciting. Give it a good push. <laughs> OK. Well, she tried very hard. Give her a round of applause. You'd like to sit down. Thank you, Alicia. If we pick the parts where the rubber is thicker, where we haven't stretched it quite as much, when we go through those bits, hopefully, it doesn't get pulled apart quite so much. Wendy goes into schools and adapts the show to any age group. It's not very well paid, but really rewarding. Do you remember that Newton's law? It, a action, opposite reaction. If the air pushes that way, which way will the balloon go? Oh, wait. So again, we don't know, we might even get that policeman over there. Yeah. Which allows you to <laughs> OK. Well, he's coming round, he's coming round. <laughs> Could you get arrested for that in Ireland, do you think? A lot of adults, particularly, who are watching will come up and say, I wish science was like that when I was at school. So uh, hopefully that by showing people some of the different sides of science, we can shift people's opinions. So 